Joy. Karibu sana. Ah, vipi? Fiti, how are you? Niko salama sana. Do you know how excited I am kukuona jamani? Asante hata mimi nimefurahi sana kwa hapa. Baada ya miaka mingi? <laughs> miaka kama mitatu, mine? Yes, yes. Yeah. Ulikuwa mwisho wa standard group lane. Mm, 2018. Mwisho mwisho 2018. Ukuja ukatoka kukaenda wapi kwani? Ah nilitoka nikaenda kwa media house nyingine nika uh-huh. lead team ya pale mm. after that uh, nikaenda sasa nikafanya biashara yangu mwenyewe nilikuwa naongea na muende mm. taking leaps of faith yani ulikuwa poached <laughs> yani nilitoka <laughs> hapa eh kawaida unajua media sisi tunasemanga ni bedroom moja kubwa unatoka uh-huh. kwa sebuleni you go to the Nankia, bedroom you go to the kitchen it's all the same it's mm. all the same imekuaje eh, lakini imekuwa vizuri uh, lots of learnings nakwambia i think na tukua ongea na mwende when we started kitambo tulikuwa uh-huh. tunafikiria hapa ndio sasa tunajifunza kazi uh-huh. unafika hapa mbele baada ya miaka mikumi ungali unajifunza ungali there's always something new to learn uh, yeah na mm. nafurahia sana mm. Mm. na pia upande wa digital kuna badilika kila siku eh, everything that happens hizi mwezi msita ikipita tena uende pale imebadilika mm. so mm. ni mali ya kujifunza lakini nafurahia sana unasema saa hizi una umeja, umejajiri mwenyewe nimejajiri mwenyewe nimekuja kwa upande wa entrepreneurship uh-huh. eh, it's a lot of learning unajua yeah. ukikuja kama hapa standard wewe kama unakuja unafanya kazi yako unaondoka zile yeah. kufuatilia payments sijui kufanya maneno ya invoice <laughs> do, uh, unajua sasa hapo ndio unaanza kuheshimu wale watu wa finance na wale watu wa admin uh-huh. <laughs> yeah but imekuwa nzuri unajifunza pia inasaidia kwa sababu unaweza ku discover so much yeah. kwa sababu unaona ukiwa kazini kuna ile kama ni kama uwanja eh? kuna ile perimeter yenye imewekwa round eh? mm-hmm. hii ndio sasa kazi unafanya mm. au ndio clients ambao unafanya nao lakini ukijifanyia kazi sasa u- umefungua sasa kama wingu mzima yeah. you know you can build based on what you want mm. with different clients creativity so nafurahia sana upande wa kazi mm. na pia kuweza kujifunza mengi kama sometimes unapata client mwenye anafanya kazi haujaielewa kama i think in december kuna clients ambao wanafanya kutengeneza flavor za chakula. Mimi mm. sijaijua kumbe hizi viti zinatengenezwa kwa lab. Mm. So unaenda mpaka pale kwa lab yao wanakuambia bonje hii soda, hii kuna sukari na hii haina. Unaweza tofauti. Like Wanakuonyesha. Una una because process. for you to write, niweze kuandika sasa na uweze kuleta hiyo mm. story vizuri mm. eh. Lazima ujue how do they do it eh? Joy, mm. the last time I checked, ojo uh, uli, uli we. Joy alikuja hapa kama intern. Uh-huh. <laughs> alikuja standard group kama intern. Intern wa kutoka Daisa. <laughs> She come and tell you about it. But the same alikuwa unaondoka ulikuwa unasimamia kitengo pale mm. eh, cha uh, digital. Ulikuwa ni ni same gani? Ni kwa nashughulikia maneno ya content management. So mm. nilikuwa nasaidiana na team kuangalia mm. na kupanga ile content ambayo tunaweka. So for example kama mm. utukiwa kwenye radio maisha tunaangalia social media yetu kama Instagram. Mm. Ni ni story ina gani inafanya poa? Mm. Post ina gani? So tunafanyia analysis, mm. tunapatia na feedback ndio kazi tuko wafanya pia kuangalia mm. upande wa uh, story za digital zile mm. zinaenda haiwani tunazisukumaje kwenye mtandao vitu kama hivyo. Eh. Sasa hivi unafanya nini? So sasa hivi nafanya consultancy. Mm-hmm. Uh, nafanya consultancy two types of organizations. Yeah. One area yenye niko na passion sana nayo ni startups na African startups. Mm-hmm. So what I do for them na kama kuna moja nilianza kuanzia kuwatengenezea logo, kuwatengenezea Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Na wafunza vinye tulikuwa tunafunza na kitambo namna mm-hmm. ya kupost. Mm-hmm. Eh vinye tutasukuma hiyo product yao. So like we did a travel client last year ilikuwa nzuri sana. Mm-hmm. Nafanya pia training, nili train 60 people wa Kenya Tourism Board. Oh really? Yeah, so I a partnership with Kenya Tourism Board tukatafuta hao watu wenye wanafanya kwa hoteli tuwafunze namna ya kutumia mtandao website mm. yao eh mm. video mobile video unatengenezaje unapiga video vipi utajisukumaje mm. customer service so yeah i get to do projects kama hizo mm. kwa sababu inanikubalia sasa kufanya unajua hiyo training yote tulifanya kutoka kuandikia maneno ya gazeti mm. eh ukuje sasa ujue ah radio maisha wanafanya nini uwasaidie kufanya support mm. so hiyo all round unakuja kwa client sasa unaweza mpatia na eh, imekuwa mzuri sana kwa sababu hata wale watu ambao niliwa train nifanya kazi na nimeweza kuwapatia side business kama mimi unajua ni kwa kwa news nilikuwa nafanya side yeah, business yeah. so saizi kuna wale hata like december kuna watu niliwaita akamwambia anahitaji watu wa kunipigia video mko free weekend mm. kuna client wangu anahitaji video unapata yule mtu ambaye ulimwajiri kama ah, intern yeah. pia ndio sasa anakuja anafanya kazi na wewe so imekuwa very fulfilling so kwa mm. clients kama hao unawafanya kama 360 but ile yenye napata sasa kwa kwa wingi ni zile kama NGOs mm. kwa sababu anahitaji mtu ambaye anaelewa strategic communication okay. unajua hapo ukiwa kwenye media kuna ile story unataka kusukuma unaambiwa mm-hmm. for example kama vile tulikuwa tunafanya na Ivuma na Kinanja mm-hmm. Mungai mm-hmm. pale mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. kuna ile tunasema tunataka kuleta women of this age group yes. so mtaangalia vile mtaandika story vile mtai post ile images so when you come to doing pia for NGOs kuna zile causes ambao wanasukuma kama kuna wale wanaongelea maneno ya afya 
uh, ya kina mama eh mm-hmm. uh, mama, mama eh, 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 maneno ya area afya ya uzazi so unakuja unaona ah okay hii story tutaifanya vipi kwa sababu kwenye newsroom mlikuwa mnafanya kupanga stories eh mm-hmm. say so, for example hii mwezi ni maneno ya breast cancer tulikuwa tunaangalia angles za stories ambayo tunaweza skuma gani itakaa vizuri kwenye video etc etc so hiyo ndio tunafanyia clients hiyo sasa ndio unafanyia clients mm-hmm. join ni mwongeaji pia mm-hmm. eh <laughs> Tuko na Joy Chelagat, she is a digital consultant, digital media consultant. Yes. Joy, mm. kwa kifupi, kabla tuendelee, Joy ni wa wapi? Amezaliwa wapi? Umelelewa wapi? Uh, mimi ni wa Eldoret. Nikuja uh-huh. watu nilikuja Nairobi. <laughs> nikuja campus lakini kabla ya hapo uh, tulitembea kidogo but I'm from Eldoret. Family mm-hmm. yangu iko huko. Mm. Eh huko ndo nyumbani. Huko ndo mkulia. Kabisa. Mm. Um, mm. Wewe ni mtoto umezelewa katika familia ina gani na ni mtoto ngapi? Uh, tuko watoto watatu kwetu. Mm. Uh, mama yangu na baba yangu. Baba yangu anafanya kazi ya uh, pastor, alafu mm. mama yangu she's an academic. Mm. So wa, lakini watu wanapenda masomo sana. Mm. No sasa sisi tangu mkubwa pia ni msomi anafanya anafunza lo alafu mm. mimi ndio the artist kwetu mm. mm. <laughs> alafu ndugu yangu mdogo anifuata na miaka 8 ndio alimaliza tu university juzi okay mm. uh, kwa, kwa watu wengi unajua especially if you come from a religious family mm. watu wanatarajia una take after your parent pale kanisa ni basi ndio chukulio leo pasta wako wewe vipi Ah kitambo kama nikisema kweli kitambo I think kulelewa unajua vinyo unasema umelelewa mm. kwa hiyo nyumba mm. ni kama sasa kulelewa kwa nyumba ya daktari kuna nice. vile eh, kuna zile vitu ambazo ama mm. da, nyumba ya na so mm. nilelewa kwa kanisa kabisa mm. uh, kwa sasa hivi I'm very open religiously mm. uh, I'm very Christian I soma bado Biblia mm. but pia nasoma maandishi mengine pia Maandishi mengine ni yapi jamani Joy uh, Wewe unioni na ikanga hata Sathguru mara Mufti Meng I believe there's truth in many religions I'm a uh-huh. Christian by by the way I've been brought up and everything mm. but pia na, na, napata for example kuna wale poets wa islamu wanaandika very beautiful beautiful poetry mm. and, and it touches me oh. eh, kwa watu kama I'd medi- I do a lot of meditation mm. eh, so pia unanipata nimeketi pale na pumua nikisikia ile muziki eh. so you, you, you believe also in other tuzita cultures ama tuzita religions ama tuzita religious traditions yeah. traditions eh. yani ni zile traditions zao pia zina, zina ukweli ndani yake Mikle mo wanasema unajua namjua Joy kuanzia hiyo kitambo hiyo I told you she came here as an intern she is one of the few people that I know that have risen very fast in their careers mm-hmm. that's what I usually say and I tell people about you you've risen very fast in your career umefikosa mbona unafanya kazi kusema nyingi nyingi sema nyingi nyingi afu bara gafu umeacha umeenda kufanya vitu vyako mwenyewe ni kitu ambacho watu wengi watajiuliza ah mbona kwa sababu watu wengine wanatarajia mtu akipata kazi ni noga katika media houses unakaa. Mm. Mm. So ukapiga story, mwanaambia pale, ukasoma, umesoma Eldoret. Hey, All through your life. Eldoret mm. na nikasoma high school na Kuru. So hiyo pande pande wa wakulia hiyo pande. <laughs> yes. Wakati unakuwa ndoto yako unatamani kuwa nini maishani? Ah mimi kwetu unajua again mashambani it's Eldoret, it's a mm. small town. So sikuwa najua kitu kama media but nilikuwa yule mtoto napenda drama, music mm. festivals. Kuanzia form 1 nilikuwa wale na act hata mm. jana nilikuwa na watu tukona action wao kanikumbusha mm. zile nyimbo so ni wale tulikuwa naenda drama music so wenye ndikuwa nafanya mtihani wangu unajua jabu anakuambia ujaze ile form mm. babangu akanisukumia andikisha law kwa sababu dada yangu mkubwa anafanya law mm. lakini nilipoenda pale nasoma na naangalia anasoma in the case of kivutu versus kivutu of 19 ah mimi nitakra hizo vitu kweli so nilikuwa mm-hmm. napenda drama art kuna another radio host anaitwa Lucy Wangujiri mm-hmm. ni mhubiri wanajuana na kina babangu so kina dadu alikuwa amemkaribisha nyumbani mimi naye kibele mbele huko kupeleka chai mm, nini mm. eh nikaongeaongea umama kanibeni wewe unakaa mtu akuongea nikasema eh hey, in fact mefanya drama music wondo akashika mamangu mkono akasema huu mtoto ni mtoto wa media uh-huh. mimi mimi nilisomea mengine uh-huh. lakini nilikuwa tu kama huyu drama music nikaja nikapata media huko mbele usimfanyishe hivyo nendo akaandikia mamangu mashule matatu akamwandikia uh, Desta akamwandikia Nazarin na Yesayo akasema hizi ndo shule ambazo sisi tukiwa kwenye media tunaandika watoto kutoka hizi shule sasa hivyo ndo mimi mtoto wa kutoka Eldoret nikajipata ni kwa Thriver. Okay, oh, <laughs> pale. Eh, sasa oh, pale mm-hmm. nikaingia radio station ya, ya kwanza nilingia Shine FM. Oh, yeah? Ilikuwa na kipindi ilikuwa anga drive show na Thursday. Mm. Ilikuwa inaitwa Upbeat. Uh-huh. So tulikuwa pale eh, mixing. Uh-huh. So my dream sasa ikakuwa oh wow, kumbe naweza kuongea kwa radio. So nilikuwa mm. nataka sana kazi ya radio, lakini Kiswahili yangu ni ya kuomba maji bana. <laughs> so nilipokuja huku hapo mm. ndio nikajipata kwa digital. Mm. Kwa sababu unajua unakuja kama intern au 
unajua utakuwa kwa gazeti wapi wapi oh, they just call you as an intern yeah you're an intern lakini mm. unajua nilifanya electronic media shule tv yeah. na radio, radio. that mm. was that was what nili specialize nayo mm. ukuja hapa tv kila mtu alikuwa anangangania hiyo enzi za kina maskalia mm. kila mtu alikuwa anataka kuwa kwa screen mm. nikaona kuna desk fulani inaitwa digital pale ilikuwa imejificha unakumbuka pale karibu na pale pembeni pale pale pembeni pale karibu na masava ya makompyuta joto jingi pale so hapo nyo nilianza sasa kitu ikanifurahisha na digital tukiwa kwenye shule mwalimu wetu alikuwa anaitwa Mrs. Kowar alikuwa mkali sana eh ukifanya video si tunafanya features nenda na kamera ufanye feature huyo hako anataka unamletea kwenye disk anakuambia jifunze venye utaupload So hapo ndio nikaanza kujifunza YouTube nikiwa shule kwa sababu oh. ndio usubmitie kazi mm. umpatie hiyo assignment yako mm. unamtumia link, link. Oh. na hii ilikuwa back 2009 huko 2010 mm. Mm. mwalimu anakuambia usinipatie nini tafuta venye usiniandikie the story unipe hapana nenda weke kwenye blog sasa venye nilikuja huko kama intern mm-hmm. unaona ni assignments mm. na tulikuwa tunaogopa darasa za huyo mama sana mm. kwa sababu hako anasema hako anasema ni Lilian Muli ni mmoja lakini hiyo darasa nimefunza wengi kuna mm. wale wanafanya station maneno ya studio kuna yule anafanya editing mm. so huyo alikuwa anasema ukitoka kwa darasa yake si ati umejifunza tu kusimama mbele ya kamera hapana mm-hmm. utajua kamera utajua mixing utajua editing so hizo skills hizo hands on skills ni kwambia mm. kweli ndio zilinisaidia nilipita sana kwa shule i think nilipita with a cum lot mm. lakini nilipokuja hapa kuna mtu aliangalia hata hizo ma a ma b ma nini mm. wako anataka kujua kikupatia What laptop unaweza kufanya hii mm. walimu alikuwa anakuambia kama unafanya show kwa radio uko lazima utengeneze post yako na uupdate ukaenda kwa upbeat mimi eh. nakukumbuka hiyo time uko intern lakini unatufundisha mambo ya digital because i remember myself you time your twitter and you inaanza kushika mm-hmm. then then instagram had no come and then facebook unanifundisha kuhusu scheduling unanifundisha tweet deck hizo ulikuwa umejifunza mwenyewe so ama, nilijifunza mm. kidogo kwa shule alafu nikaanza kujifunza mwenyewe so nilikuwa nakuja kazi mapema unajua tena hiyo time kwa napanda matatu na naishi sq flani huko na mm. ngumu so napanda mm. matatu kadhaa Una, unajaribu kuhepa ile time so nilikuwa mm. kuja 7:4 nikifika mm. 4 pm kwangu nina internet mwende ni mimi ni intern niko na niko na pesa za internet Mm-mm. eh sasa sina so nikitaka kutumia internet mm. kuanzia hapo form mpaka 6 na kaapo nasoma so nilikuwa naenda kwenye hizi blogs zenye zinaongelea what is happening kwa inch ya technology mm-hmm. eh nini inafanyika kule facebook nini inafanyika so ukikuja kwenye job umekuwa ukisoma kile inafanyika huko ndio mm. ulikuwa unaweza kujifunza oh naji najiuliza okay tunafaa kupost after every 20 minutes mara nyingine uko katika test story umesahau kupost mm. ule editor anakuambia wewe Facebook haijafu hajapostiwa in 30 40 minutes. Hakuna mm. traffic so nikaanza kujiuliza is there a way? So hapo ndio watu wetu wa technology kina Jared Kidambi wakaanza mm. kutufunza ai kuna kitu inaitwa tweet deck. Ah unajifunza. Mm. So wenye unaanza kufanya hiyo ikaanza unaanza kushika unaanza kuambia okay can you teach someone can mm. you teach someone na hiyo ndio kitu moja nashukuru sana bosses wa standard mm. wenye walikuwa hapo mm. kina shahi kina mm. ogito mm. walikuwa nakupatia space ya kulearn ukisema yeah. niko interested na hii mm. bora isi affect kazi yako mm-hmm. unajua kama ulikuwa unafaa kuwa una post kama unataka kuja kujipelekeza hapa ufunze watu wa radio maisha vitu mm. sawa kama unataka kuandikia gazeti <laughs> sawa bora tu at the end of the day kama ulikuwa unafaa ku post ume post so that is what uh, ilifanya nikakuja huko cuz nilikuwa tafuta kitu enye kwa the arts mtoto umezoea kuongea unapenda kuwa mbele ya arts you know you like performance so even when nikajipata kwa media na nashukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu ningefanya law so baba ya internship uka, ukajiriwa pamoja kwa moja eh sasa hiyo ndio ilinisaidia tena kwa kuingia kwa digital unakumbuka sasa hiyo time radio mission ilikuwa imeanza kushika unakumbuka mm. radio mission ilikuwa imeanza kushika KTN ilikuwa imevuma kuvuma so mm. kila mtu alikuwa anabisha ni wapi KTN mm. Mm. Digital hawakuwa wengi sana. So mm. nikaingia pale na huko ulikuwa unaingia unapatiwa kazi. Unafunzwa ukipatiwa mm. post fanya hivi. Na hivyo mm. ndo sasa nikajifunza nikaanza kufanya projects wakiexpand wa, wa, wa wakaniita interview na hivyo ndo nikapata kazi kwa sababu ile 4 months nilikuwa hapa mm, kama intern, intern. you actually working venye mwendi anakuambia mm. unaambiwa sasa hebu angalia radio, radio maisha social media utawasaidiaje kwa sababu hiyo time ulikuwa unaona social media peke yake nyetu tunachunga sana mm. ilikuwa ya standard digital na KTN mm. hizi zingine hatukwa na team mm. so ukiwa kama intern boss anakuambia hebu enda usaidie wale na ukienda hapo unakutana na mtu kama mwendia na kufunza vitu vya radio mm. wao ndio linikisha hapa production studio mara ya kwanza nione venye inafanywa <laughs> yeah so wao uh. ndio nilipata kazi na pia ku- kuuliza nilijifunza ku- being confident ku ask for help unajua sometimes unapata mm-hmm. bosses wangu sijui kuandika headline mimi nilijifunza tv na nini radio sana sana mm. ndio kuna ile courses za kwanza kujifunza kuandika but si kwa 
kuandika news ni kuwapenda creative writing yeah. so ni, i used to go and sit with my editor eh unaka hivi hapa anakosoa article yako yani ni kama anaandika fresh article mm. the next time you learn kuna kuna wale sub editor anakuja anakuambia headline haifai kuwa sentence nzima seven words maximum eh anakubadilisha so you're captivating you're captivating so hiyo kukuwa open kuuliza for help na usiogope kukashifiwa kwa hiyo cause wewe unakumbuka editors wa, wa kitambo bana mm. eh moto <laughs> moto ukaondoka hapa standard group mm. ukaenda waziri na banka yes. ukatoka kwenye banka ukaenda kwa media house nyingine ukatoka kwa media house nyingine ukaenda kwa nyingine ukatoka kwa nyingine ukarudi hapa you have gone very fast you know nini mwe inakutoa sehemu moja hadi nyingine nini wewe unatafuta katika career mm, i think kitu ya kwanza nitasema ni i was younger as well mm. your time nilikuwa nataka sana learning because mm. uh, kama unanikumbuka mwende those times particularly in the early career ulikuwa unaishi huko kwa ukiingia asubuhi huko huko mpaka baadaye mm. so i wanted to learn more na nilikuwa nasema at least the first miaka mitano mm. eh nitembee nijifunze mengi kwa sababu yeye nikwambia mimi si wale watoto nilisema nitafanya law eh nitakuwa magistrate kama mm. dadangu mwa wengine mimi nilikuwa napenda tu maneno ya creativity so i've always been open to learning okay. hata ukiangalia ile nikiwa hapa nilikuwa nafanya kazi kwa digital ndio but nikaanza kuandika gazeti mm, maneno ya digital eh mm. nikiwa hapa ndio after a while kuandika gazeti nika, nikafika mali nikafika ah wacha nijaribu kwenda fridays nilikuwa naongelea what is happening on digital ah, on tv way, remember ile kipindi ya kinanuna so ukiangalia kari yangu whether i'm in a place or not mm. i'm constantly nataka kujifunza mm. kwangu by the way ukiweka kwangu utapatani documentary zao ushinda every day i watch at least two documentaries mm. lazima zikwe pale learning. i like learning mm. so what happens na mimi mara nyingi nikifika mali nione either i'm not learning mm. or kama si ati nina learn also kama sometimes the environment mm. so there are those times in my career where i moved because i wanted to learn and grow mm. like when i was here nilikuwa pa miaka miwili uh, ya mara, mara ya kwanza boss wangu mmoja hapa alikuwa kwa tv unajua mm. sasa ile nikwambia kimele mele mm. mimi ni, na, nilikuwa marafiki na mtu anaitwa Philip Ogola kwenye twitter na alikuwa anafanya kazi Kenya Red Cross mm. so Philip mwenye tulijua na naye ilikuwa juu ya ile accident unakumbuka niko na accident kitabu yes so nilipokuwa natafuta usaidizi online digital imenisaidia nika post tu nimekuwa mapa kwa airport wana ni tv Philip akanitafuta akapiga mm. simu hivyo ndio tukajua na naye so vinyo alipojua nafanya kazi kwa media accident kitokea mali nani wa kwanza naambiwa mimi mm. so nilikuwa nakimbia pale kwa ule assignment editor namwambia eh nasikia kuna kwa na accident aniambia umetoa wapi nikamwambia wewe tafuta tu uliza mm. watu wako so kafika mali akaanza kunijua anikaanza kumwambia by the way twitter yenu hivi nini so hiyo kuji, kujituma mm. mwenye alipoenda kwenye bank Mm. akafika huko akaona digital yao haikuwa social mm. media haikuwa customer service lazima inapitia South Africa hapo ndio saka anita akaniambia eh hey, would you want to interview kuna hii kazi itakuja na hivyo mm. ndio nikahama so mimi excitement yangu in that change was watcha nijaribu kuona hii social media na digital iko aje nje ya media kwa sababu okay. kumbuka ndani ya media nimejaribu jaribu hapa pale nimejifunza nini nini mm. tumefanya projects kina jambi SD ku launch nini elections tume so ikafika mali I was like okay let me try So I did that but nika realize the corporate space for me at that point I wasn't there yet. Kwa sababu unakumbuka hapo mm-hmm. umezoea ku post post. Mm-hmm. When una post breaking news, nini live tweeting kwa pale mm-hmm. mara moja kwa moja una report online. Mm-hmm. Ukienda kwenye kwa bank kuna agency nzima. Mm-hmm. Kama sasa mimi ni venye Mungu anijali nisongeshe ni agency yangu niandike watu wengi. Mm-hmm. Kuna agency sasa kama yangu iko pale. Mm-hmm. So kazi yako ni kwenda wewe ndio unaenda kwa marketing team una come up na ideas unawapatia wana design. So ulikuwa unapata ile Yes, umezoea kidogo si kama vile umetengoje umezoea kwa media so, but kenye nilifurahia sana pale nilifunzwa maneno ya events boss wangu pia alikuwa in charge of events mm. na kwambie sijae kanyaga golf course hapo ndio nilikuwa nendanga huko unafunzwa venye kupanga golf mm. unafunzwa corporate gifting eh unajua corporate gifting lazima upigie assistant wa mwende pa mwende upenda nini eh mm-hmm. uh, mwende mtoto wake upenda vitabu ah okay ako na miaka mingapi unajua hiyo ndio corporate gifting you have to call ah. 40 na, no, it's at the level of uh, private banking cuz stand big walikuwa na ile bank ya wakubwa kabisa mm. so au uh, unawapangia golf hapo ndio mara kwanza nikaenda kujua oh kumbe hivi ndio ufanya acha nikwambie hiyo time siko hata nakaribia pombe lakini nilikuwa nafungua na kufunga ba kwa sababu <laughs> ah, ah nikwambia kwa nini <laughs> ukifanya event yao wakubwa si kuna ile reception after golf mm. Azimu una, unapanga sasa umeitisha ngapi unaona unahesabu pale unakaa pale na mtu na na kwa kwenye digital department saizo si ni kwa, kwa communications and marketing oh, okay. so boss okay. wangu anafanya events but sasa si nikwambia mimi i wanted to learn cuz okay. nilirealize pale i didn't have as much to do kwa okay ilikuwa a lot of work but i kwa fast paced Okay. So unaanza kujifunza una volunteer. Wacha ni nene volunteer kufanya events. Okay. Una volunteer kwenda kufanya photography. Mm. Eh, una volunteer. So that, that's when I started learning. Oh kumbe kuna corporate events. 
hivi ndio ufanywa lazima unapigia pia ujua kuli nini mm. eh, unaona hizi ni vitu ambavyo ungefunzwa shuleni true True. Unaona hiyo hands on. Unajituma unasema wacha niende nifanye photography ya event. Unaenda unafanya photography kwa sababu kwa shule shule nikwambia madam Koor ni kiboko. Mm. Ataki kujua ati wewe ati unataka kukua news anka. Ah ah jifunze kubeba kamera wewe. Jifunze kukata. So ukiwa pale si kuna event, kuna awards unaenda unapiga watu picha. Kimelembele wewe umeenda kwa event unaambua oh would you MC you go. So in that period I learned so much about the corporate communication space. Oh okay. Kutokana na media. Na sasa unaitumia eh. katika kampuni yako yangu so all of these things came you know mm. in, in line yeah. kufikia, kufikia size uh, umejajiri mwenyewe hii yeah. baada ya kufanya kazi kwa muda gani baada ya kuajiriwa kwa muda gani uh, ndokaamua kuacha sasa ufunge biashara 11 years Eleven. it's been 11 years yeah i started in Inakam. 2011 ina haki dogo <laughs> actually no after 10 years cause nilianza nilianza kazi 2011 Mm. So nilianza ku corona time yo ni register kampuni yangu but I was consulting full time for an NGO mm. nikifungua kampuni cuz mm. nilikuwa nafanya hizi side kazi umeanza umeacha mwaka jana uh, ama mwaka juzi full time and my company nimefanya kama 6 uh, months full time okay. but the company has been running for one and a half years okay. so nilikuwa nafanya kama hiyo project ya Kenya tourism tunaifanya 3 months inakuwa kazi nyingi yeah, putting together a presentation mm. when una film cost unaenda ku interview hotel manager so hizo nilikuwa nazifanya kama projects oh, okay. so niliamua last year i was like this is it I'm going full. Sababu kubwa kwa gani? Ah, uh, kujielewa. Mm-hmm. Um I've never talked about this publicly but I'm one of those people who uh, I have a mental health a thing called ADHD. Mm-hmm. So what that means is my brain works really fast in certain ways but I get really restless. Over time nikakuja ku realize while mm. the newsroom was good for me, haikuwa na nikubalisha ku balance my mm. life. Unanielewa? Cuz it was very fast paced it was good. Over time also nikaanza kutaka kwa more involved with my family cuz I mean even my own sisters would rush show. Hii kazi ya newsroom can find kakosa. Wacha. Eh, nilisindikasirikiwa nili mwanzangu. Na <laughs> sisa <laughs> <laughs> ali ali catch. Eh, hey, sasa nikaanza kutaka more of balance. Mm. Pia nikutaka kufanya more of the kind of stories I want to do cuz of 10 years of doing Raila this uhuru that every day mm. eh una get, get na fika mali na kwa tedia mm. freedom sasa mm. mm. so i was like i want to do this for myself and the biggest thing was passion about african stories because mm. uh, katikati hapa nilifanya something ya kusafiri nje remember the time i was doing aqua africa yes, so yes. these guys appointed me as an african brand ambassador for their company motivation yako ya maisha ni gani joy chelagat nini na kupatia msukumo every morning unapokuwa unaamka unafanya kazi zako learning Mm. learning because um you only as wewe we, unafikia tu ile kiwango ya yale ambayo unajua mm. unajua unaweza kuwa kama for example we, mwende ukiangalia ile miaka yote umekuwa kwenye radio mm. umeendelea kuongeza ujuzi yes. eh kwa hiyo so i think for me ni learning so mm. na sasa hizi napatia na, na sana kipao mbele kuweza kujifunza either kukuwa as a better person kama mimi ama kama communicator mm. eh, because kuna mengi ukijika hivi uangalie unaweza jikosoa mengi mm. na hivyo ndio sasa that's the motivation for me every day how can i be better ya pili pia ni wewe tuliongelea maneno ya religion mm. One of the things I strongly believe love is at the center of all religions. Mm. <coughs> you know, kupenda wenzako, kupenda familia yako, kuonyesha that love to the environment. So for me I'm really big on that and that's mm. one of my biggest things that I nikifanya. Kunipata niko pale kwenye meditation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's one of the things that you're supposed to meditate on loving kindness, you know? Yeah. You, you're very big as well on mambo ya mentorship. Yes. Nehe. Yes. Inachukua nafasi gani especially with the, our generation right now. Mm. Me- mentorship ina ki, ina nafasi gani? Ama inaweza kumsaidia vipi mtu? Mentorship inaongeza kiasi ya kujifunza. Kama mm. mimi uliponiuliza niliweza kugrua raka kwa nini? Kuna another lady na, anaitwa Madam Wangare. Hapana ngi sema jina zake zote anaitwa Madam Wangare. Mm. Alinishika mkono hivi, alinipata I think 2014. Mm. Akaniambia you I need to work with you. Na kila mwezi by the way I used to meet her. She hapo South Sydney nilikuwa natoka kazi, ilijelishika niko nafanya kazi at the other side of town ama hapa. Mm. Every once a month nakuja pale na notebook tunaandika ni nini ulifanya this month mm. ni nini unafanya next month mm. yeye ndo hata aliniambia maneno ya kitabu sijui kwa nakumbuka mimi kwa ngono napenda kuvaa t-shirt nini kwa ofisi yeye mm. alinikataza kaniambia pana your right lady <laughs> eh, lazima akaniambia unajua mm. kuna wale watu wakikuona kama mwanamke kwa ofisi watakudharau kwa sababu ni mwanamke ama wataona huyo yuko emotional because you are lady akasema hauna option huyo akili yake asha set ikiwa hivyo mm. so why not also use the, the positive aspects of being a woman because the negative things hauna opportunity ya kudishana nayo unanielewa how, how people see you how people see you the negative things that come with being a woman in a corporate space hakuna venye unaweza kutoa that in someone's brain ah, eh? but the positive things are also there so lean on the positive ni kama kitambo usiku anapenda sana kuonyesha mimi i love baking mm. kitambo nilikuwa nasema nikuje kwa ofisi nataka niko serious ni square you know that happy happy mm. person who comes with cake When 
I was a boss I used to do that mm. kwa sababu hiyo mentorship ilikuwa inanifunza mara ni hiyo mara ni venye unafanya presentation zako mm. ukikosea kwa kazi anakuambia but there kwa ananieka nikifanya makosa and he used to call me out kabisa mm. ananikanya so mimi nilipopata hiyo mentorship pia I like mentoring so hata wow. kwenye kazi nimekuwa like people have worked with have always been really positive about that mm. I've had my challenges as a manager but I've always really tried to be positive and to encourage people because nikijiangalia hata mimi wale bosses wa kwanza waliponipatia kazi hapa kama intern mm. walikuwa nanifunza pole pole tu eh? okay so yeah vizuri tu kutufikia kwa hiyo point so that also maybe there's a young person out there anakusikiliza they 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 would want guidance you know mm. in that space labda katika mambo ya digital ama tu katika mambo ya media kwa ujumla kwa sababu umepitia mm. pia katika media houses wanaweza kukupata vipi kwenye mitandao ya kijamii uh, na jita joy chelagat mm. wakinitafuta mm-hmm. kampuni yangu pia ni acole.africa so wakienda mm. kwa website pale wanaweza tuma an email ama watumie kwa joy mm. at acole.africa mm. eh sisi tunakushukuru sana kwa kuja asante kuna there's something usijui kama tuiongee very briefly You had an accident. Yes. Yes. Ni gari ilikuwa kama what exactly? Nilikuwa natembea katikati ya town nimetoka kazi 4 PM mm. naenda pale town na mtu akapita na mimi. In fact hata hiyo case ndio tumalizia size. Yes. Ni gonga. Mgu wangu livunjika by the in two places mfupa ikatoka hadi huko. Lakini How did that affect your life? Eh, na sh- it was difficult. I yes. got into my first depression kwa hiyo time. Mm. Kwa sasa umezoea ile kukua kwa newsroom busy busy umejipangia maisha. Hiyo ndio nimeandikwa kazi one year imetoka. I, I didn't take in myself for a trip to Uganda to celebrate my birthday. Unajua ile umeanza kukua sasa goals. All of a sudden umefika mahali umekuwa hospitali one week mguu hivi umekiwa chuma ndani imerudishwa nyumbani kukana wazazi kwa sababu sasa siwezi jichunga natembea mm. na crutches nilikuwa na crutches miezi misita hata hapa kazini nilikuwa nakuja mwisho mwisho mm, eh nikikuwa hivyo Waza- bosses wangu walikuwa wazuri nyumbani anasema pia kuwa na bosses wazuri ni kazi nzuri cuz mm. walinipatia zile kazi ningeweza kufanya nyumbani so kitu ya kwanza nitakwambia ili ilipate hiyo depression but hiyo depression ilinisaidia kwa sababu ikanifanya nikaanza kujiuliza what do i really want unajua nilikuwa nimejipanga mtoto wa kanisa mm. you know kuolewa nini hizo vitu zote mm. after that nikaanza kujiuliza are these the things i want what do i want hapo ndio nikaanza kuwa aggressive mwende hapo ndio nikaanza kufanya side businesses hapo ndio nikakuwa ile africa ambassador nikasafiri germany south africa where nikaanza kujituma nilikuwa nafanya job full time naomba leave nimeenda ethiopia one week nimeenda zambia one week kufanya maneno ya msingi na communication mm. because hapo ndio ikanifunza mwende kesho sio guaranteed true unajua kwa kari yako unasema let me work here for two years let me do this project only lakini uko sure kesho itakuja hiyo talent yako ya idea yako unafikia niwe peke yako uko nayo mm. the other people also creative you know out there wako na hiyo akili pia mm. so kutoka hiyo time accident nilikuja i came with aggression hapo ndo sasa mwende nikakuwa nasema kama kitu hainifurahishi see see wiki whether they are friends whether it's work whether it's whatever hapo ndo nikakuwa really aggressive nikaanza kusafiri nika nikaanza kuandika mm. nikaanza saa kujituma kutafuta kazi mm. mpya mm. thank you so much joy you made a, a lemonade out of the lemon that you're given yes tuko mbele pamoja shukran sana you can follow her mkombea kwenye mitandao ya kijamii especially if you're about growth